Hey, this is Snow Creek Homestead. We're gonna build some small raised bed today, cedar. It's gonna be three boards high. It's about six, two by six, two feet, six feet long, about 16 inches deep. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. And uh, we use uh, for the insides, I'm going to screw in this area. I usually use something I have around here, like an oak uh, board, and different, better than pine. Pine just rot on you. Cedar should be good for uh, holding up there. So I'll kind of uh, take a few shots here and uh, show you how I'm making this thing. Okay, I just set this new raised bed on top of the existing one. So we're going to do this like a tongue and groove style. Right now I'm going to put one screw in it. I'm going to put three per board. One on each side of this other screw. So we'll do this on the tongue and groove all the way around. And we'll keep building. We'll overlap them. This next one, instead of coming all the way out, it's going to be coming flush. So the next long board... will come out flush like that. So it just makes it stronger when you kind of weave it together. But I can go ahead and screw this on now because I know exactly where it's going to be. I'll just continue on all the way around. You also want your boards and your screws to kind of line up so you ain't all, all wavy looking. Makes it look a little better. that one up like that. Thank <laughs> you. 
So, pretty much came to the top of it here. Got a little gap, pulled in with the rubber screws. I'll get back with you on the bracing here. So I put these braces in here to keep these boards from spreading apart. And I'm also going to put a chain in between them to hold them from the dirt starts pushing out. So I put four of these in every two feet. So that's pretty much what it looks like when it's done. You can also put a cap on top of it and make it look really nice, like a finished. Um, I haven't did that yet, but depends on the the uh, price people want to end up uh, paying for something like this. It's uh, materials are very expensive nowadays. So, but you can put a trim piece on, make it look really, really finished off too. So. I guess that's all I got here. I just thought I'd throw it out you, at you about another raised bed. Another thing you can do to grow some food and have some fun. So, you know, you can build two beds in a weekend or on a Saturday and it ain't too much trouble. Or go buy some from somebody if you ain't got the tools or the time. So, this is Snell Creek Homestead. Out.